It was July 3rd, 2012, in the once easygoing town of Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. A Tuesday, Joe Yodok, Frank Spencer's lifelong friend, hadn't heard from him since Saturday. And I had been texting him because we had issues we had to work on with go-karts. Joe and Frank raced go-karts together for years with their kids. And so that morning, Joe went looking to find his missing buddy. I'll never forget it. I was pulling down the driveway and I thought, man, I hope I don't find my dad. When Joe found Frank lying on the floor, it took him a moment to process what he was seeing. And he had this look of peace, calmness, that he hadn't had in a long time. Uh, I stepped over his legs and I noticed what looked like dry blood in his ear. Now I realized what happened. And then he wasn't alive. This loss of somebody you knew from the time you were in kindergarten. Can you put that in words? Uh, no. It was a tragedy, but not a mystery for Frank's loved ones. Most suspected Maria Spencer, Frank's former wife, who had officially become his ex-wife just three weeks before the murder. Maria didn't want the divorce, and the proceedings had been drawn out and contentious. Very contentious. You could tell it was just kind of... <laughs> and it is very hard. was there, she'd fly in screaming, slamming car doors. Ironically, Maria's passion what? was one of the things that had attracted Frank to her in the first place. He liked the crazy. Frank's friend, Paul Siciliano. You know, in the beginning when they were together, it was fun for him, you know, because he did have that kind of wild side to him. Frank and Maria eloped in 1997. Soon they had a son, Cyrus, and then a daughter, Frankie. Well, the kids were the, were the biggest <laughs> priority. Everything he did was about the kids. When Frank's father retired, he took over the family business, a junkyard located behind Frank's childhood home. Frank's friend and Joe's wife, Katie Yoda. He knew everybody. I mean, everybody in the town knew Frank Spencer. Frank's friends say Maria didn't seem to warm to family life the way Frank had. Frank was disappointed that she wasn't taking that much of an interest in the kids. <laughs> the <Lord>. marriage eventually <laughs> began to crumble, and Frank filed uh, for divorce in 2006. Police were called several times for domestic yeah. disputes. Despite this, Frank wanted to keep the kids in one home. His friend, Ron Roman. Frank said that kids shouldn't be punished by having to go to their mother's <laughs> house or their father's house. This is your house. So this week I live here. Then that week I'll leave and that the, the kids should try to have as stable as life as they possibly can. But friends say Maria was anything but stable. In 2008, she was arrested after a scuffle with Frank's mother at her daughter's school. She was charged with disorderly conduct. Sorry, that's my friend. <laughs> child endangerment yeah. for allegedly not buckling her daughter into the car. Tom Leipold prosecuted the case when he was yeah, an assistant yeah. DA, but didn't feel he could prove child endangerment. And so I agreed to dismiss that charge in exchange for the plea to the two other offenses. Maria pleaded guilty and had to pay a $600 fine. But the judgment only seemed to fuel Maria's rage. She repeatedly threatened to kill Frank, sometimes in front of other people. <laughs> Frank had been reporting those threats to local police for years. The issue is, is that Frank and Maria relationship was volatile. Hemlock Township Police Officer Scott Tross <laughs> says Frank and Maria would fight, but often reconcile. He says he wrote up Maria's threats but says Frank didn't want it pursued. He just wanted things documented for his sake in case of something happened to him. By 2009, the Spencer's divorce battle was three years along and still far from over. But emotionally, Frank was moving on. Did the two of you hit it off right away? We did. Frank and I both admit that we were both smitten at the same and time. And the people think that I've got to say this, right? <laughs> I'm filming street lights, well. I'm not off people's windows and trees in front. 
<laughs> really not. But it made it seem that way to you, so, you know, like, you know, if you just come across this. <laughs> You need to really need to follow his story, to be honest. If you just come across like these sort of footages, yeah, you really do need to start from as early as you can. Just got to say that. Please, you don't have to be rude about it some of you, you know. I can't see shit. Mm. Well, neither can I, because it's not a shit on fucking recording, is it? That was one good comment, you know what I mean? Adults as well, eh? <laughs> like I say. I'm just not going to reply to them sort of Whenever comments Tom anymore, Michael rise up to that sort of thing now. Prosecuted Maria. He was now serving yeah, as not really like just idiots, and you met twats of yourselves earlier at the end of the day, without even following anything else, mm. or knowing anything else. In terms of appearances, you know, the you truth why it, for some, it's of our fake life. Because she'd had all these run-ins with the law, doesn't that compromise you? Yeah. It did not compromise me. I had no contact. And so no I've just got to say that, and that's it now. I'm not going to reply to them sort of um, rude, idiotic divorce. comments None. anymore. Many in town suspected Maria not waste Rockwell my time. Had been involved in the burglary. Sergeant Trott yeah. interviewed Maria right. and gathered evidence, it's which he took to the DA. Just for now, guys, Tom see what happens when I get out there. Uh, so on with the district right. attorney Bye. At the time. You'll be all over there, there, don't forget. He determined that there was <sighs> not enough yeah. to pursue criminal don't charges forget. against Maria Spencer. Maria gave the documents to her lawyer, and they were ultimately returned to Frank. But the burglary was mm -hmm. left unsolved. To this day, I don't understand it. It's like we're in a, you know, some weird universe. Very Frank's very friends were beginning to wonder if Maria would ever be stopped, especially when they saw... What happened next? I guess when the house burned down, I was like, uh, bye this bye is bye. making me 